My name is Dee and I've just finished building my little home on wheels, my micro camper, my little Toyota Estima. And as you can see, I'm super excited. Look at those moves. <laughs> it's a 2006 Toyota Estima. I used to have another van and this is what happened to it. It was properly built out and everything else. But it's okay because we move on. We've got new things and I've got a new car and it's so cute. It's so unsuspecting. No one will ever know. Look at those blacked out windows. No one's ever going to see inside there. Double tinted, bro. <laughs> it's so, I'm really, really, really happy with it all. It's, yeah, when you open it up, it's super cozy on the inside. I've got cute carpet. I took out two of the uh, two of the doors, two of the chairs, two of the seats to come out. They're currently sitting in my bedroom right now. <laughs> um, and yeah, I took out two of the seats to make it all work. I put a futon in there instead. And look at it. It's just, it's cozy. It's cute. It's adorable. I love it. I actually had to cut down the futon to make it fit to size. Um, so I got to use hands-on tools. Um, these are my little peeps that come with me wherever I go. Got my Marceline, got my Froggy, I got my Foxy, and I've got... Wow, I sound like a child. I've got stairs and I've got my mirror, which is more important. Um, and I had a, I had to think about a solution for a sink because my last one had a proper unit for a sink and a hob and everything else. I didn't want any of that. I wanted more space in this. So I thought of an idea, which was a little pop-up thing and look, a little USB tap. It runs on USB. It's rechargeable. How cool is that? You don't need it a lot. And it's just bottles of water and just throw it out when you want to wash your teeth brush your teeth and that's a flipping kettle that's a whole electric kettle how cool is that <laughs> you don't need a lot that literally boils your water in five minutes bam sorted you don't need to put on any gas for that um and when i need to cook i've got my trusty trusty camping stuff camping stove i'm gonna get a proper stove soon but it's okay that'll work for now i've got all my cutlery all my bits and bobs this is probably the most jank thing in the entire build um i couldn't put the curtain rod up like in my last bilingo which was like properly squared off on the roof this one had an angle to it so i just cut up a broom and that now holds the curtain rail but it does the job and that's the most important thing it does the job and it does it well look at that bam is it doing a job as a curtain rail absolutely it is um <laughs> for, for window covers uh, i decided to use these little like sticky tabs um and this like blackout curtain material and I've labelled it and literally just slapped that bad boy on and it blacks out everything. And I can literally do it one-handed. That's how easy it is. Um, I The last one, last build I had, had like curtains in it, like per, proper curtains, and I didn't want to like screw anything in. It's a no-build van. I can literally get rid of all of this stuff and sell the car on and no one will ever know there was any changes to it because nothing is permanent. How cool is that? And it does the job so well. Oh, look how black it is. Mate, darkness, pure darkness. It's like midday right now. There's a little bit of light leaking out, obviously. But look, I can even turn on the fairy lights. This is a really bad view of what it actually looks like. I promise you, it's super, super cozy. I'm super happy, super excited. Look at me more dancing. A review from my mum, she said that it looks like a pimp car. And yeah, so...